Hey Crossroads, welcome back to Sermon Extras. Um, yesterday I kind of gave you, uh, or a couple days ago actually, uh, I gave you something to go and study. A little bit of the extra stuff that we had in our sermon that I really couldn't get to. And I, so I wanted to give it to you this week, give you a chance to go back and study it, find out what you found, and then kind of go over it with you. So um, I gave you a number of passages to look up, and hopefully you did. But if you didn't, you still have time to go do that. You can go look up these verses. But I wanted to kind of go over with you kind of what you found, what were you thinking. So what I found that as I was going through chapter 14, 15, and 16, there were a couple themes that were running through the discourse that Jesus had with the disciples as he was alleviating their fears and telling them not to be afraid and promising the Holy Spirit and telling them, hey, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm, I'm going to pave the road. It, it, it's through me, so keep your eyes on me and listen to the Holy Spirit. I'm going to send this comforter, this advocate that's going to come and help you and then abide in me and with each other. And that whole discourse to try to alleviate their fears, but running through and kind of in the background um, was this thread that I shared with you. And so I asked you to look up these verses and it was chapter 14, verse 12, chapter 14, verse 15, 21, 23, and chapter 15, verse 10 and 14. Now, hopefully you, you were able to look up these verses and here's, here's what you found. So I want to talk about it for just a minute. In chapter 14, verse 12, he talks about and he says that, that anyone who believes in him um, and what he's about to do will do my works. You know, the things that he's been doing, they will do. Verse 15 says, if, and this is an important word to kind of keep, keep your eye on, if you love me, you will keep my commands. In verse 21, whoever keeps my commands loves me. Verse 23, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. Chapter 15, if you keep my commands, you will abide in me. Remember, that's that whole chapter talking about abiding in him and he's the vine and we're the branches and all of that. So if you keep my commands, you will abide in me. And verse 14, you are my friends if you do what I command. Now, as you look at these, a couple things kind of jump out, don't they? That, that every single one of these, and there may be some others, this wasn't necessarily comprehensive. This is as I was studying, I said, wow, he said this a bunch of times. And here's a clue. Whenever you're stuttering, stuttering, whenever you're studying a passage of scripture, um, if, if words are repeated, if something is repeated over and over, you need to take notice. You need to, you need to go, okay, there's a reason why Jesus said this over and over and over in this last discourse. Okay. So a couple things that stood out to me. Number one, um, in every one of these, as I highlighted in red, you can see he's talking about keeping his commands, doing what he's doing, doing his, keeping his word. Um, it's, it's all about, um, and, and here's, the, here's the, the thread, that through this whole thing, that interwoven amongst that abiding in me and not being afraid and listening to the Holy Spirit is this entire thread of obedience right and then accented by these words if again when you find this in scripture and you find the word if especially by jesus you need to pay attention and go back and what is jesus saying here so jesus is talking about you know if you love me keep my commands he says this a lot in the new testament but in this particular discord he said it a lot and what he was trying to help them understand that that as he's alleviating their fears and as he's, he's telling them to cling to one another and cling to him and, and keep their eyes on him and listen to the Holy Spirit, that there is an underpinnings of obedience that is interwoven through this whole thing. And here's where I think Christians and, and church today, um, we tend to disconnect sometimes from our feelings about religion and about God and all of this. And so we talk about abiding in him and all of this. And we, we just get this emotional approach that is how we feel. You know, we've talked about this um, in the past. And Jesus is helping us understand that that's great. And it's, and it's this abiding and this loving each other and loving him is great. But remember, we said a number of weeks ago that love isn't about a feeling. Love is about action. And so interwoven amongst this whole discussion 
is this reminder to you and I and to his disciples that if we are going to follow him, if we're going to abide in him, if we're going to do all these things we talked about, that obeying what he says and putting into practice his truths is, is, is really going to be the hallmark of what this looks like in real life. So as the disciples proceed, it's not just about feeling good about each other and, and prayer and all that, which is great, but it's about putting into practice what Jesus has commanded. Obedience runs this whole thread. And, and I didn't want you to miss that. So hopefully you picked that up when you read these verses. Hopefully that came to light for you, all right? If not, go back and study these verses. Now I've got another clue for you. There was, out, there was another little thread, another little repeated kind of thing that Jesus said throughout. Maybe you already picked up on it, but if you didn't, let me give it to you. Go back and study it, and we'll talk about it later on in the week, all right? And it is here in chapter 14, verses 13 and 14, chapter 15, verses 7 and 16, and then chapter 16, verse 23. Go back and read that and find out what that thread is that is running through this whole discourse and what Jesus is saying here that he's repeated all these times. All right? So hopefully you enjoyed this. Go back and study it. See what you sit, what you think. And if you saw the same thing I did, maybe there's some other verses that I didn't see that relate to this and you can add and maybe even comment on this. But thank you for joining me. And excited. It's Passion Week. Excited about the message this week for Easter. Get excited about that as we talk about the resurrection. We dive back into Mark 14. It's going to be a great, a great Sunday. So I'm going to have some more of these this week. We'll talk about this on another day. I'm also going to talk about Passion Week a little bit. So be staying tuned to Facebook and YouTube. And thank you for joining me. God bless.